everybody, I'm Heather. I'm swimming the English Channel for the British Horse Society. In this episode of my vlog, you will find out why this thermometer is so important, why this uh, cup of tea is crucial, and why I'm going to pack my clothes in a very particular order before I go out today. Hey, my name is Heather. I am swimming the English Channel for the British Horse Society in 2020 and I'm tracking my preparations along the way to get ready for the big day itself. I swim in the river all year round because I live so far from the sea. The temperatures can vary right up to 22 degrees in the summertime which is so nice down to about 5 degrees at the minute and even colder uh, down to 1 degree and freezing uh, in, in January time. I don't wear a wetsuit because you're not allowed to under regulations with the Channel Swimming Association. You can only wear a swimsuit and that's because it would give you added buoyancy and added warmth. I wear two swim caps when I'm swimming in cold water. It traps air between the two and helps you stop getting a sore head in the cold water. The important thing when you're finished swimming is to get out and dry as quickly as possible. Put on as many layers as you can, take two towels, stand on one while you're drying with the other um, and get some socks on your feet and a woolly hat on your head as you lose heat from those two key areas. And the most crucial thing to remember, the most helpful is that your body uh, needs to warm up from the core and the middle to the outside, not from the outside in. So don't put yourself in a warm car or a warm room or shower straight away. Have a warm drink like a hot cup of tea or black currant, whatever you fancy, and slowly warm up from the core and then you will recover as quickly and as healthily as possible. So just arrived at the river, I've just taken the temperature, 6.2 degrees, so it's a little bit warmer than the other day, but still very cold. Um, I know it's safe here simply because I've been coming here for a long time and done a lot of research. So I recommend that you find somewhere safe near you. There's plenty of quarries and nice beaches and other rivers to go to, but go safely with a group. I'm prepared today, I've got everything with me that I need, and I have a friend fully briefed uh, supporting me today. Uh, so let's go and see how it is. Hypothermia is a real risk and something that you want to avoid at all costs. Um, you can prepare for it, you can acclimatise your body and adjust and become accustomed to swimming in cold waters um, and you need to be aware of, of the risks of that at all times. There are points swimming in cold water that you can warm your body up. For example, if I do hit a really cold patch and I'm cold to the core, if I kick my legs flat out and sprint for a bit, it'll heat my body up but I can't sustain that. I need to slow down again or I become exhausted and would not make it to France. So I need to do everything possible to ensure that my body is adapted to sustain swimming in cold water for long periods of time. Okay, all done now. That was really worthwhile. Now I'm gonna go and get warm. So back home now, uh, warmed up after a great swim out today. Um, feeling very refreshed. I hope you enjoyed that video on learning a bit more about how I acclimatise myself to cold water. I am not an expert, this is how I do it and I do recommend if you do want to get into it to follow the links that will be at the end of the video and um, make sure you do it safely. If you find this interesting please do uh, comment and like and share the video. We're doing this for a great cause for the British Horse Society. Uh, we want to raise as much money as we can uh, so please keep supporting it. And if you want to find out what this is, um, make sure you keep following and watch the next video. Many thanks. Bye.